Hi everyone, my name is Danny Grondin and I want to show you something that I'm gonna do to my leisure travel van today. My unit is a 2014 Murphy bed and most of you guys know that I've switched to lithium battery a few years ago and I've just made a drop-in replacement of my battery and I kept most of what LTV installed initially on my RV so the lithium battery wasn't used uh, optimally. The problem with the old solar controller is in inability to top off the lithium battery because there is no uh, profile for lithium battery and I contacted GoPower to ask them if there is a replacement for my old solar controller and they told me that their new model with Bluetooth and lithium will be a direct replacement. So this is our project for today. The following installation is just a general guideline. Be sure you are comfortable playing with electricity before attempting to do it. In doubt, just ask for help. For my own installation, my RV is parked under a cardboard, so there is no electricity coming from the solar panel. The fuse is just for the battery side. I always use my Fluke voltmeter to check if those wires are alive, and doing that you feel way more confident. First thing is to remove the 20 amp fuse. Mine is located in the stepped compartment. And then I take the little square head, the yellow one, and I'm gonna unscrew and remove the old panel. There is only four wire behind that thing. Two goes to the solar panel and the other one goes to the battery. This is the new PWM30 UL. It's compatible with Android and Apple via Bluetooth. And this one, it's a little bit different because it can manage two different battery banks. But I don't need that for my current setup. So it's very easy. Just rewire exactly the same way you the other one was. Make sure the connection is snug. Put that thing in place. Make sure you don't bend wires too much and just screw the thing back on. We have to put back the little 20 amp fuse and set the panel up for lithium. I downloaded the Go Power Connect app. We have to press for 3 seconds on A and B for the Bluetooth to, to be able to, to pair everything was seamless, a pair at the first attempt without any glitch. Give a name to the solar controller. Now I will back up the RV to get some sun. So it's pretty cloudy, but I'm about 93% full and 14 volt. Usually the old solar controller wouldn't charge the the battery bank because you know it thought that it was already full. But right now The new algorithm, you know, allows to charge the lithium battery, so everything is working just fine. I'm very happy and it's been a very simple and straightforward upgrade. And once more, I'm sorry for my English and 
I want to thank you all for being part of the Leisure Travel Van Enthusiast Group and I wish you all the best time ever inside those beautiful RV made by Leisure Travel Van. Thank you folks. Safe travel everyone.